Um, I heard about Occupy right, the first well, couple of few days before so the actual occupation the started through convert. friends of mine and through other meetings that I was going to through right, um, some um, anti-death penalty work. Can, uh, thank you over the and end. I was always working when they had the GAs. I think they were on like Sundays some point during the day, but I always worked, so I never made it out and just heard report backs and things like that. And I was oh, yeah. finally able to come oh, yeah. out it's after it's work secure. for the actual first day of occupation. And I've been there ever since, pretty okay. much. Okay. When you say been there, what, what does that oh, mean? Oh, okay. Actively participating in Occupy Atlanta okay. functions and actually occupying the park. Okay. What, what was occupying the park like? That, that's a, Oh, occupying the park. That was a life-changing experience. I almost feel like that was like a tease, and the city knew what they were doing by allowing us to stay there for that long, and letting us experience the world that we wanted to create one day. It was just it's a pretty like euphoric state for me. Yeah. And it's hard to believe that it was only about three weeks that we were there, or maybe even less. I don't know. It felt like a lifetime. But it definitely kept us kept us driven and motivated us to work even harder after we were evac I'm not evacuated. After we were well, <laughs> evicted, that's yeah. the word. After we were evicted because you already tasted the life that you wanted to live. So you know that that's, that's what some people say and I I, I agree with you that written you know, that you know, they have a revolution yeah. you have to live yeah. there and you said you could give us a credit card. Yeah. Do you want to say uh, what, okay. what was there uh, about the occupation? It's from about October seventh to about October twenty seventh. What of last year? What what was that life like? Everybody worked together. Everybody shared everything. There was yeah. constantly like live music and love and. Okay. Cuddle puddles. <laughs> <laughs> what, what was that last? Cuddle puddles. <laughs> cuddle puddles. What? Cuddle puddles. It yeah, was. Oh, cuddle puddles. Right? Yeah, it was October and we were sleeping outside, so it was pretty cold. The only way to stay warm was to cuddle up with people okay. around you. So that automatically brings you closer. Right. Right. Um, right. Kim, we jumped back yeah. in front of the microphone, so I'm sure she wants to ask. Them. Yeah, Kim, do you want to say something right now? Oh yeah, I loved occupying the park. I made. You just go out in the park, okay, hang out with a couple hundred right? people, and make a million best friends and family. Yeah. <laughs> we met too many people to yeah. even remember. Somebody would be like, oh, hey, do you know so-and-so? I'm like, don't remember the name, but I'm pretty sure I've met them at some point. Yeah. And you just have, like, amazing conversations yeah, throughout the day, all hours of the night. Yeah, you never sleep, but you it's okay. Mm -hmm. You know when you have a conversation with somebody, and you're just like, the whole Blast. day passes, and you realize you've been talking for Blast. hours. It's like every single person out there, it was like that. You couldn't even walk five steps without running into another person that you talked to for hours. You can't even get out of the park, but it's okay. So, so you both actually stayed overnight during the occupation? Yes. Yep. Absolutely, the 99%. Wow. Mm -hmm. and, and you slept in tents or what? Yeah, tents. Tents, for the floor of headquarters, wherever, yeah. the grass, I mean, wherever. Yes, yeah, slept outside of them, just out there. That's, that's, uh, really that's, uh, why I would have asked you to read the number back to me, but that's really like me reading music. Okay. Our microphone is here. <laughs> well, it should be lived. Well, you like should be lived. Yes, yes, yes. Time now is 12, coming up to 12.54. You listen to um, Radio Free Act. Well, we have a, a, a procedure. I call this, this hour. Way we are in our pledge drive, 404, place where I can all three, eight, nine, 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 we have, you know, college like students. Like we have like people who run their own businesses. We have people who can donate their time full time, and those people who cannot donate their time full time. So I'm someone that can't donate full time, but this is a great opportunity. And Jose likes to ask the question, "Why are you here?" You might see him at the park, and my answer to that question is, "How could you not be here with everything that's happening in the world?" So if you are someone who wants to be involved but you can't sleep in a tent and occupy a home that's being foreclosed on or if you don't have, you, have you know 100% of your day to you uh -huh. know, make new friends and be on Facebook you can still get involved even if you are only spending you know a few minutes of your day to get involved there's an organization um, called Everyday right, People Occupy Atlanta, and if I could give out the email address, it's people 
ATL yeah, at gmail yeah. dot com right. and, and you, you can, can sign up to be it, an everyday, everyday person that, that supports that. Occupy Atlanta and you can be involved when you have the time. Okay. Well, that's yeah. why we were such a delight. Yeah. <laughs> ATL at gmail dot com. Correct. People ATL at gmail dot com. And come in and share your time when you can. Okay, that's everyday people occupy Atlanta. Yep. Run by two wonderful <coughs> people, both of whom are named Darlene. Everyone makes a difference. <laughs> yeah,